See, what I've done here is I've created an effect quite by accident by just playing around with things that you can do with a layer. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, Art Studio, but the terminology is pretty much the same. Uh, when you're adding layers, uh, you have things like... Uh, dissolve or darken, multiply, burn, subtract, uh, lighten, screen, dodge. Uh, I think there's a linear dodge too. And, uh, and then you have things like soft light, hard light, difference. Uh, those kind of things you have to play around with to see what each of them do and you figure out how you can use them. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I found this effect works best with black and white. So I've taken a couple of different photos. Uh, you can see this of a crowd uh, and then I have the other one that's coming up, uh, that's a picture of, uh, you know, these guys here, these young kids and stuff. So, what I've done is I've taken the initial folder, the initial photo, turned it into black and white, and then I've made a copy of it. And then what I've done is just with my hand, uh, I moved it so that they're not perfectly lined up and it's like a centimeter to the right or to the left. It doesn't matter which way you go. You can even go up or down, you know, and play around with that. But, uh, and then I've gone to the layer, you know, and I've, in this case, it was multiply. Uh, so what it is, is I turn the photo into black and white, make a copy of it, then off-center it a little bit, and then, you know, hit multiply. And then you can move the photo around the layer to see where you get the best effect. And you can see how I try to add color later to see how that would work out. And so, this vi this video is basically a progression of how I started out with, I tried to pick the photo that started the whole ball rolling, and then it's sort of a progression of how uh, one photo ended up into another photo. Uh, here you can see, this is a picture of Miles Davis and uh, Coltrane uh, is to the right. You can see his hand maybe and, uh, you know, everybody's watching him and stuff. So you can see what happened here with this photo and how it developed into something completely different that I had no idea of. Uh, it's all being done subconsciously and I have no recollection or idea of, at this point I have no idea of what's going to happen next uh, with the photo. So, I don't know, a lot of people work with that, you know, everybody you have to go with your instincts and of course the more craft you know is always going to reflect in your work uh and and of course make it better i think i'm not like the craft expert i'm just saying that uh you know uh the more you study and experiment uh you know, on the technical side, I think, you know, the more it pays off, but just, this is just having a good time and stuff. And, and I just uh, wanted to say thanks know, for watching, one way to and uh, I wanted to add that uh, I thought about and, it, and then hitting that the this 
this and, uh, photo, it's kind of uh, inspired you know, by Miles, and things, uh, uh, you know, if you think so about it, Coltrane, those are the fingers that, of uh, John but, Coltrane, um, which is just anyway, on the other I so. think I screwed up this record. Um, well, thanks but, for uh, watching. That's, we'll that's see you later. That's the basic general idea, so I hope this helps in some way. Uh, and um, we'll see you in the next video where I uh, show you the next the steps on how I ended up with this photo or that photo. And so uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, please subscribe or share uh, if you can. And uh, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.